Hi, and welcome to NRCC Business Talk. We are talking business with a guy that does business at the Netherlands Embassy, the economic counselor for two years now, Mr. Winan Marshall. And I'm not sure I got the name right. I never get the Dutch names right. <laughs> I need to go and stay at least a week there to get the pronunciation ready. Keep on practicing. My name okay. is Wijnand Marcel. Okay. You have that right. So yeah. much better. Economic counselor, uh, trade and economy counselor, actually. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how do you work with NRCC? Yeah, well, uh, the NRCC was established uh, in 2006, and ever since that, we've had a very close cooperation. Myself, I'm uh, a member of the board of the NRCC, mm -hmm. so I get to meet uh, the, the the board every month, and I know what's what's going on within within NRCC and its members. Uh, so for me, it's a very interesting platform uh, work-wise because I get to know firsthand information about uh, uh, what the Dutch business businesses are, are doing here, what their challenges are and what they're working on. Um, so, uh, uh, yeah, the, the cooperation, I guess, is very close and we organize uh, um, events together, like, like doing business in the Netherlands, which is coming up, uh, sometimes receptions, so like on King's Day, we, we try to work together. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, common interest in uh, what, what the NRCC tries to accomplish and the interests of the embassy. It's also the Dutch-Romanian network working to bring these people doing business and, you know, uh, fostering better ties with the Netherlands and the economy there. Well, how these entities, how do they, do they work together? Yeah, the uh, the Dutch-Romanian network or DRN, they're based in the Netherlands, so they they service uh, uh, mostly Dutch companies uh, uh, that are based in the Netherlands or doing business with Romania, and uh, uh, they have been around uh, almost as long as uh, uh, the NRCC. Um, they're also a network organization. They try to promote uh, business interests of Romania in the Netherlands. So they have a much closer link to the Romanian embassy in the Netherlands uh, than to us. But we, uh, we are in touch and we are also working together with them whenever they have an activity planned where they, uh, where they, uh, where they would like to involve the embassy. Uh, we are ready to cooperate, but they're more or less they're they're more into uh, promoting Romania in the Netherlands, and uh, we are here to promote the working? Netherlands in Romania. Is it working? Um, yeah, I think they're they're they are a, a good organization with a lot of members, and uh, uh, it's um, it's it, it's you know Romania is a country with. Uh, 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 with a certain, uh, well, how shall, how shall I put it, uh, a certain, uh, um, uh, well, you have to get to know the country in order to, uh, uh, to We to call it bad it press, it. Uh, better reality, yeah, that's yeah. in a word, in a nutshell. Uh -huh. We got a lot yeah. of bad press usually. Yeah. Uh, people, when they come here, especially my expat friends, I don't know if they're telling me because they kind of want to be friends with me, but they say, oh, this is so, so much better than the media you've got over there. That's, that's, that's my experience as well, and mm -hmm. we're here to tell also the other side of the story. Right. Now, the other side of the story, the biggest side of the story is the investment, the Netherlands investment in Romania, topic two bi topping $2 billion uh, and affecting mm, a lot the, the local economy, not mm -hmm. only when it touches directly, but also when it sets an example and a model. Mm -hmm. How do you think that this investment over the years uh, translated in economic terms yeah. for Romania? Well, being the largest uh, foreign investor in Romania, uh, uh, I mean, Dutch companies have been here since many years, uh, uh, and uh, a Romanian comp companies, there are about 5,000 Romanian companies that are um, uh, uh, doing business on Dutch capital. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so, and together they provide jobs for 200,000 uh, Romanians. And I think this is quite impressive because Dutch capital is 25% uh, of the total FDI stock in Romania. Uh, as you said, two billion, um, uh, two billion so far invested here, and 
Well, a lot in in in, in, in sectors uh, that that relate to production, uh, but also in IT and in agriculture. They're they're more or less all around uh, 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 the country in different uh, sectors, and I think Dutch investments um, have contributed to to modernizing the Romanian economy. Um, um, for example, in shipbuilding, uh, but also, as I said already, uh, uh, the agricultural sector, the, the financial sector, and many Dutch companies also choose their uh, their Eastern European hub to be in Romania. Um, uh, so it's um, it's uh, it's uh, it's a growing enterprise. These investments. Yeah, yeah um, people are talking about the new economic recession. There are a few signs of it, uh, if you look into the markets. What, would this be, okay, this clearly is not bad news, but could it be an opportunity, it's not good news, but could it be an opportunity for Romania or the Netherlands or both? Well, uh, I don't. I don't really agree with you about uh, an economic recession, uh, especially not in, to the extent that we have seen ten years ago. Uh, uh, there is definitely a slowdown of economic growth, and that is that is a global trend. It's it's not just focused on Romania. You have seen positive growth of uh, well up to seven percent in uh, uh, well only two years ago, uh, and. We all knew that this was not something that you can sustain over a longer period. And especially if your tr main trading partners like Germany and France, they're, 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 uh, the, uh, uh, the growth is slowing down, that automatically has an impact on Romania. Um, um, uh, but uh, 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 I think I think the Romanian economy, as the Dutch economy, is very dependent on these the, these global economic developments. Um, um, and the challenge is, uh, uh, I think Romania should be um, uh, better prepared for an economic shock because there can be one. And when there is uh, when there is the next economic shock, we don't know. It can happen. Uh, well, rather. Uh, uh, well, really, uh, as a shock. Uh, um, so we have this, this tradition of economic shocks in this country that goes before com bef before uh, capitalism, before coming back into Europe. Yeah. We had economic shocks in the 70s and then the 80s. Yeah. Uh, some were, were in sync with the global economy, mm. others were just mm. locally produced. So we're ready. I mean, but uh, I think the bottom line here is, uh, here is that uh, in a time of economic growth, uh, a country should invest in um, uh, what is the backbone of the economy. So, in in infrastructure, in research and development, in education, and if you have those things in so order, it shouldn't spend all money on pensions and salaries. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> um, don't tell me. I'm not telling you any uh, <laughs> secrets there, of course. But that's uh, that's uh, something new for me. Yeah, yeah. Really? We should invest in infrastructure. Yeah. That's strange. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> please <cl> <laughs> carry on. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So I think uh, by by doing that, you will be less vulnerable to uh, uh, to shocks that that uh, that are most probably coming from uh, from from outside Romania rather than inside. Now, the second most innovative country in the world. The Netherlands. That's what we are. Yes. <laughs> also, um, I mean, I like it. It has three na three names. You know, uh, it's the Netherlands, but the people are Dutch. Uh, we call it Holland, and Romanian. Mm -hmm. So, we should do the same thing. You know, have a, a little bit of a branding uh, mm -hmm. respite here. Mm -hmm. But going back to that, how does it translate? Do you can, what c can you implement in Romania? What is the innovation that you were able to translate here? Mm -hmm. Easy. Well, since we have uh, uh, Dutch companies active in a wide variety of sectors, there are lots of opportunities. And uh, we always try to link uh, 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 the drive towards innovation to the sustainable development goals of the United Nations. And um, uh, uh, one of these goals, uh, it's, it's number 17, is about partnerships. And uh, we, have, we have tried 
to forge partnerships with uh, Romania on uh, on these sustainable development goals. Uh, also opening up uh, Romania for uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Dutch companies to explore uh, opportunities when it comes to innovation. So, for example, in the water sector, there there there's a lot of knowledge. Uh, I mean, we Dutch, we live uh, half of the country is below sea level, so we have to uh, be uh, creative in order to survive. Well, here in Romania, we're in the same situation with our finances. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, yeah, no, but also uh, with your with your uh, the, with the water situation, the Danube and the the, the Danube Delta and the areas around. Uh, you also have to deal with floodings uh, that that are that are a nuisance for the population. Uh, but with some uh, 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 some solutions that you can you know just copy from the Netherlands. Um, uh, you make this country a much better place to live, and and we are ready to share these experiences. Also, um, exchanges in 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 circular economy are taking place. Uh, 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 back to the sustainable development goals, we recently had an ex uh, had a visit from uh, from. Uh, 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 a Romanian government um, um, delegation that is working on the development cooperation in because uh, uh, that's where Romania is it's now no longer receiving development assistance from outside it is a provider of of assistance so I think that is a very good development and we have experience in that for um, for decades and um, uh, there's a lot of uh, um, lessons learned and we're happy to share that with uh, the circular economy you're mentioning that but we have legislation this year regarding l recycling they're trying to boost recycling by um, basically transferring all the responsibility on every uh, garbage uh, mm -hmm. put out uh, into into out in the open to the city halls and there was quite a turmoil to at the uh, at, the, at the start of the year where most uh, R Romanian companies involved in recycling from I don't know rubber to uh, glass to uh, plastic they, they were quite angry on that development on the other hand we do not reach the goals yet and we're S quite behind the schedule when it comes to goals set by the European Union to mm -hmm. recycle. Mm -hmm. uh, where do you think the Netherlands can help on that? Well, we are also uh, struggling to get there. Uh, we are not uh, the best, uh, the, the best member states when it comes to, uh, to uh, for example, um, uh, 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 sustainable energy and and uh, reducing our CO2 emissions. Uh, uh, so we can, in that sense, I think we can learn from Romania because you're much farther ahead in that. When it comes to our garbage collection, I know this is a, a, a very, very difficult topic in um, many communities around uh, this country. We also had problems in um, convincing uh, consumers and companies to uh, be more responsible on that end, and and. Um, what 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 we try to do is financial incentives. So, giving giving uh, uh, people and companies really a, a financial incentive so that they think, okay, well, it's actually uh, uh, better to 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 divide my my garbage into plastic, paper, and w what have you, uh, rather than just dump it in one pile. And slowly, I think maybe it takes a generation, you know, to become aware. Uh, but when there is a financial incentive, then people are more uh, more easily convinced. Or a fine. Or a fine if that <laughs> doesn't help. Yeah. 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 Um, well, the end of the month, we have the uh, Explore Doing Business in the Netherlands. It's an event organized by the uh, by you with uh, NRCC. Uh, what is your input there, and what is the scope of the event? Yeah. Well, it's going to be on the 28th of February. We have this uh, this event every year uh, together with uh, with the NRCC and the Dutch Romania Network. And we try to um, uh, to to inform Romanian businesses on what it is to do business in the Netherlands and what the opportunities are. So what we do, we inform um, 
the, the audience about um, uh, legislation in the Netherlands, our, our uh, uh, tax system, which is, uh, like Romania, very advantageous towards uh, 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 foreign companies, and um, what it is to, uh, to hire uh, manpower. manpower. Um, uh, so all these, all these things that are, you know, shaping the Dutch business climate, we try to inform them about. And um, uh, also we have a couple of Romanian companies that have experience in doing business in, in the Netherlands, so Romanian companies can directly hear from their peers of what their experience is, rather than listening to my uh, wonderful stories. Now, um, talking about stories, we're going to have quite interesting events to come, mm -hmm. given the fact that Romania is now the president, holds the presidency of the Council of the EU. Um, details on the Business Forum and Global Entrepreneurship Summit. Are they open for anyone interested? Would you recommend them, uh, recommend them and for whom? Oh, very much. Um, uh, first, there will be the Business Forum uh, in April. Uh, uh, we hope to uh, bring a lot of Dutch companies here in different sectors uh, to find uh, Romanian counterparts. Uh, so we we still have to find out which companies exactly are coming here, mm -hmm. uh, but 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 in the next couple of weeks I will know more about it, and then we'll take care of the of the matchmaking. And uh, of course, when Romanian companies are interested in a specific uh, sector in the Netherlands, we can also work the other way around. Um, uh, uh, but I'm sure they know how to find us. Uh, uh, so the business forum will bring Dutch companies to Romania. We will uh, link them with 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 Romanian um, 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 counterparts in the sector. And we also inform them about what it is to do business in Romania here. So we'll have sessions about uh, taxation, about uh, 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 legal matters and contracts and, and hiring staff. Uh, so we try to give Dutch business the whole picture. Mm -hmm. And then you mentioned the Global, yep. uh, and the global Entrepreneurship, and the global su entrepreneurship Summit. Uh, summit. Uh, this summit is open for every uh, um, uh, Entrepreneur in the world that has uh, that uh, that has um, a um, solution that contributes to challenges like uh, the Sustainable Development Goals, uh, uh, you know, on water, on energy, on 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 agriculture and uh, connectivity. Uh, so whenever there is a Romanian entrepreneur that has a, a an uh, innovative solution to these ends. Um, uh, they can apply uh, to be par part of the summit. Uh, all costs are covered. Uh, it will be very interesting days in June in The Hague uh, because there will be a link between uh, government, private sector, investors and uh, thousands of entrepreneurs from around the world. So this is the place to be if, uh, if you're interested in that. They, um, should, uh, they should apply at the embassy? Or they can apply through the website of the Global Entrepreneurship mm -hmm. uh, Summit and they can also uh, contact the embassy because we can uh, uh, support their application. Okay, uh, NRCC, events. Which one do you like the best? Uh, well, it's nice that the NRCC uh, provides us with, uh, with, uh, with, with a mixture of events and I like uh, uh, both the more content related events as well as the networking events uh, I think they they uh, um, they pr provide me with information about uh, businesses and and help me with with growing my network so I like both of them <laughs> which are the ones you're, you're gonna be attending where uh, can we uh, w well contact I you I I try to be at uh, at the board meetings of the NRCC uh, okay. in the first place, and that is always followed by a, by a network drink. So um, uh, I'm usually there at the networking drink, and and I look forward to reach out to um, uh, uh, to Dutch and Romanian companies present there. Okay, I'm looking forward to see this year, uh, maybe in Cluj, maybe in Bucharest. Who knows? Yeah. All right. Okay. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please don't forget, if you find us anything interesting here and you think your friends might be left out, 
please remember to share. Thank you very much. See you next time.